Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise to urge defeat of the previous question so that we can immediately consider my bill to ensure that those who risk their lives to protect all of us are afforded greater protections as well. I introduced Back the Blue Act of 2021 with Senator Cornyn in, in the Senate and two of my original co-sponsors in the House, Representative Stivers and Johnson, during Police Week because this bill is needed now more than ever. There have been more officers shot and killed in the last four and a half months of 2021 than all of 2020 and all of 2019. In four and a half months, we've had more fatalities, more murders of policemen in the years, the whole year of 2020 and the whole year of 2019. It is clear that we need to enforce greater protections for those who protect us. And that is why my colleagues and I introduced Back the Blue Act. The numbers are alarming. In 2018, 83 police officers were shot and 26 were killed. In 2019, 86 were shot, 18 were killed. And in 2020, 89 were shot and 18 killed. This year, in 2021, as of April 30th, there have been 91 officers shot so far and 19 of them killed by gunfire. Our police are being targeted. We need to defend our law enforcement and public safety officers, and our bill does just, does just that. Specifically, the Back to Blue Act creates new criminal provisions to protect federal law enforcement officers, U.S. judges, and federally funded public safety officers such as firefighters, chaplains, and members of a rescue squad or ambulance crew. The Back to Blue Act creates a new federal crime for killing, attempting to kill, or conspiring to kill a federal judge, federal law enforcement officer, or federally funded public safety officer. The offender would be subject to the death penalty and a mandatory minimum sentence of 30 years if death results. The offender would otherwise face a minimum of sentence of 10 years. The bill creates a new federal crime for assaulting a federally funded law enforcement officer with escalating penalties to include mandatory minimums based on the extent of any injury and the use of a dangerous weapon. However, no prosecution can be commenced absent certification by the Attorney General that persecution is appropriate. And I want to respond to my friend who I respect from Colorado. I condemned the behavior and the riot that occurred on 6 January. Over 100 of our policemen were injured. This bill provides extra protections for Capitol Hill law enforcement. Those who injured our Capitol Police on 6 January would be under greater punishment or penalties if convicted. Our bill also creates a new federal crime for interstate flight from justice to avoid prosecution for killing, attempting to kill, or conspiring to kill a federal judge, federal law enforcement officer, or federally funded police safety officer. The offender would be subject to a mandatory minimum sentence of 10 years for this offense. Lastly, the Back to Blue Act creates a specific aggravating factor for the federal death penalty prosecutions. It expands self-defense and Second Amendment rights for law enforcement officers. It opens up grant funding to strengthen relationships between police and their communities. I want to thank our law enforcement personally. I was a victim of crime twice, and both times I was deployed when I was assigned to the Air Force. My house was robbed once when I was a captain deployed to Bahrain. And another time, someone assumed a false identity when I was a lieutenant colonel during the invasion of Iraq while I was flying combat operations. Thankfully, one of the times the police captured one of the perpetrators, arrested him, and he was charged for a crime. But it, I deployed to go to the battle. Every day, our police walk out their front door after kissing their spouse goodbye, wondering if they're going to encounter a violent criminal. We cannot thank our police officers enough. During Police Week, I urge my colleagues to support our first responders by immediately considering and supporting the Back to Blue Act. And with that, I yield back.